Russian Rascals. Ugh. Hello Minecrafters and welcome to another video of Minecraft here on Russian Rascals. Uh, please do remember to subscribe, leave a like, and a comment of what you think I should do next. But today we're going to be doing three awesome redstone builds. Let's get into it. Alright, here in the mysterious chest, we have uh, our building blocks that we're going to actually put over here. Uh, we have one sticky piston, one regular piston, a lever, redstone dust, one comparator, one repeater, and two hoppers. And then we're going to have one water bucket and one lava bucket. Alright? And so right now, you're going to generate a four by four block and what you're going to do is you're going to build up two and place a block like that come around this is just going so well for me all right and then you're going to enclose that front with glass you're going to place glass right here right here place a glass block right there place glass right there and you have the containment structure for the water and the lava you can break this piece of glass if you want to if you prefer it's all right by me anyways we're going to switch to our hopper and we're going to place a hopper shift click nope shift click into that hopper delete that hopper and then shift click into that hopper that way we have two hoppers running into each other and then we're going to delete this block we're going to place down a block and then we're going to place down our redstone comparator with the torches facing them and this little torch not uh i repeat not lit all right we're going to place a sticky piston um and then we're going to put a block on top of it and we're going to place two blocks right here one with redstone dust and one with our repeater facing that way torches towards this side and then we're going to build this up two blocks delete this block Put a block down and then put the redstone dust down and then once that's done we delete this block we take our piston place it like that and that way this piston will be pushing out something you don't know yet you don't know what this is yet and then we're going to place a lever right here we're going to throw in just one piece of dust and that creates our hopper clock we can flick this off for now all right we're going to put this all back and we're going to take our lava and water bucket. First, we're going to place our water and that is going to be placed right here. And then we're going to place our lava bucket and that is going to be placed right here. And if you haven't guessed yet, this is a smooth stone generator. So when I flick this switch on, it creates loads and loads and loads of stone well, you can AFK here. This is upgradable. You can make this bigger. You can make it so that it has an auto TNT cannon just sitting up here blowing it up and with hoppers down here. And this is one of my favorite builds when I am doing huge projects. I have one of these so that I can generate tons of stone because I use a lot of stone. All right, let's get into the next build. So this next build is very sim fairly simple. You're going to need any building block you want. One uh, stair of your choice. You're going to need a repeater, redstone dust, lever, comparator, sticky piston, and uh, dispensers. Three of them. All right, so you're going to punch out a block and you're going to place a dispenser here and a dispenser here. And then you're going to place one of your blocks here by shift clicking and then go down into your hole and then place another dispenser that's facing down delete that block because it is necessary so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete these two blocks right here you're going to place a sticky piston right like that and then you're going to want to run a circuit like this and then you're going to want to actually you can delete that block put a block there uh, place your stair right there 
And then you can delete this block and you're going to want to get a piece of dirt and place it back right there because that is actually going to be our farmland we're going to work with. Anyways, you're going to want to line the top of these dispensers with redstone dust by shift clicking or however you do it uh, if you're on mobile um, and you're going to run your redstone app to here and you're going to place your comparator and you're going to turn the little torch on you're going to place your lever you're going to run some redstone to close the circuit and then that way when we flick the switch it does this cool leo we'll flick that off right now and that is basically the whole entire thing but you don't know what it's for yet so we'll just chuck all of this in here and we're going to find a hoe and place that and we're going to get some seeds get a stack of those and then we're going to get loads of bone meal um you're going to need a lot of the stuff so i would suggest uh finding like a soul sand valley where they have those random uh uh bone block tower thingies and then you can generate lots of bone meal from that you're gonna hold the land um and actually what i like to do we're gonna grab our redstone dust here actually and what i like to do because i i don't want to have to run back here to turn this thing on every time so i'm gonna run the redstone out here so it doesn't entangle with that and place the lever right here so it's easy it's it's fairly simple we can actually make this even easier for ourselves place it there and we're going to actually i forgot about the water you're going to need some water everyone all right take a water bucket and you place it right there and then you get a piece of dirt and you place it back right there cool and now when you hoe the ground you place your seed you can turn this on and it's not working perfect oh that's right that's because we didn't put the darn repeater in gosh dang it everyone all right you're gonna want to take the repeater place it somewhere around there and there you go so something i hadn't noticed is that the stair actually uh untills the farmland so you're not going to want to stare right there and some of your items are going to pop out here and that's completely okay but you turn it on you place your seeds down and it automatically just grows it just grows as you can see and you just generate tons of wheat and as you can see here stuff is popping out the back but that's okay because you know you're you're just getting tons of free wheat um that's not free you had to work for it but seriously you're just generating tons and tons of wheat very fast and so if you need like any bread or anything this is the way to get the wheat for that all right that was insane let's go to the next build all right for this next build you're going to need the following items. You're going to need a chest and a hopper, redstone dust observer, any building block of your choice. You're going to need sugarcane, sand, and piston. And as you've probably already guessed, we're making an automatic sugarcane farm. So you're going to place your sand. You're going to place some uh, building blocks around it so that you can have some water. I forgot the water bucket. What am I doing, people? All right, let's place some water right next to the sand. That way uh, we can grow a piece of sugarcane. Cool. Next, you're going to build up. You're going to place a piston right here. And then you're going to place an observer on top. Cool. That way when you uh, place up like this, uh, the observer will see the top piece and the piston will break the second piece. Cool. 
now what we want to do is we want to wire this thing up so we're going to take some blocks and we're going to come out like this you're going to bring it out like so and you're just going to wire this thing directly into the piston so that way when we see when the observer sees it it breaks the sugar cane now as you can obviously guess we want to be able to leave this thing alone and it will pick it up for us so that the game doesn't automatically delete it we got you covered so we're going to place a chest right here delete this block and then we're going to run a hopper into it and then just for good measure we'll run two more hoppers uh into them each other by shift clicking you don't necessarily need to do this but i just like having all my bases covered then to make sure that uh, you're not getting any over here and on top of your observer or whatever we can build a kind of a little roof uh, like this um, that way we are sure that it's feeding directly into our hoppers and not you know uh, into anything else cool so when we do this when we do this yep it will automatically farm the uh, sugar cane thank you guys so much for watching this week's minecraft video i do sure hope you enjoyed i love doing redstone um i could obviously get better at it but if you guys want to see more redstone uh or less redstone you know what to do hit me up in the comments or in the discord or email uh just let us know what you want to see next all right guys that's all i have for today bye for now